Welcome to support videos for Control M workload automation. In this video, we'll see how to manage Control M agent authorized hosts with the automation API. Agents can be managed from the configuration manager by right clicking and looking at the properties. As you can see here, we can change the primary server and the authorized servers, but we want to do this from the command line. So let's take a look at how we can use the automation API. As we can see, we have the Node.js prompt here and we're going to use the CTM CLI. So the command is going to be CTM config server agent param set. Next, we need the control M server host name, then the control M agent host name. Next, the parameter that we're actually going to set. In this case, CTMS host, and then the new value that we're setting. Let's go ahead and run this. And we can see that it's returned. Looking at the output, we see CTMS host and it's been updated to a value of new host. So let's check that on the agent itself. We can use CTM AGCFG to check the value. So let's exit out of this earlier run and rerun it again. And there we have number three, primary control M server host is set to new host. Also note that the authorized control M server hosts has it added as well. Let's minimize this. And now we're going to add an authorized server to the agent. So we're actually going to use the CTM perm host parameter this time. The main command is almost identical to the initial one. So it's going to be CTM config server agent param set. Then we'll add the control M server host name and just as before, the control M agent host name. Then it will be adding the parameter that we wish to update and the new value just as we did before. And then go ahead and run it. And there we are we can see that it's updated CTM perm host to the value test. So let's check that with CTM AG CFG again. Let's exit out of this and rerun it to see what we have. You can see number four authorized control and server host is now set to test. Note that it's removed the new host value there. So let's minimize that. Now let's see how we can get the agent configuration with the automation API. So going back a few commands here, we see CTM config server agent params get control M server name, control M agent name. And here I'm piping it to a text file, which I'm just refreshing on the right hand side. So you'll see all the parameters and their values here and CTMS hosts and CTM perm hosts here. You can see that the values are there that we've set and all of the parameter names that you see in this file or in the output are the ones you'd use to set values. Of course, you don't have to use the CTM CLI. You can use whatever utility or scripting language you want to make the rest call. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.